Hey, what's up? And welcome to the next video. You'll be excited to know that I did some digging and I found some Walmart pictures. In my last Walmart video, I said, I'm running out. You guys sent me some Walmart stuff and I also found some older stuff. I, I put it together. I made a video. This is Your Bad at Walmart, where we look at people, the creatures of Walmart. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? Oh, Santa, no. This is going to be really hard to explain to the children. Why are we not allowed to sit on Santa's lap anymore? Well, Santa's going through a midlife crisis. It's best just to stay away. Nah, he's just in the holiday spirit. Yeah, he just shows it differently than other people. One of you fans showed me this rollback price. $2.96 was $2.97. Oh man, calm down, Walmart. I know the lowest price is the law, but damn, don't just be giving stuff away. Damn, Walmart. You okay? Light up Christmas. $13.44. Walmart's going through some shit. Walmart wants you to set your Christmas tree on fire. That's what they're saying with this. Here is a dedicated Walmart employee. Look at that. That is some Walmart hair. That's beautiful. A beautiful dedication to your job. If he's not employee of the month, well, that sucks, dude. Because you tried really hard. But you know what? When I think about Walmart hair, this is not what I think about. I think more like this. Like, that is Walmart hair. Or even better, this. Yeah, that is some Walmart hair. What in the hell, man? What? What is going on here? It looks like your hair is falling off the back of your head. Maybe this person's just going bald, but this is not a good solution. No, just shave it all off. Don't hang on to what you have. Let it go. Here's a man shopping for belts. Well, maybe he's shopping for belts. Maybe he's just yelling at him because he hates wearing one. Someone is about to put two and two together, says the caption. You don't know that for sure. Uh, ma'am, I think you ran some children over. I think you would have felt that when you ran those two kids over but no here's a kid probably being a jerk they're like get off the cart tommy and he's like no you didn't get me my dunkaroos you know how you get tommy back just run his head into a coke display <laughs> then he'll shut up i lost my dad at walmart and ended up finding him in the garden section watering plants that's a real dad thing to do you know what your dad was doing a service because i've seen the plants in the walmart plant section i'm sure not all walmarts are the same but those plants need to be watered okay he was doing a service he was saving plant lives here's a human banana that's right the, that is a, a person who used to be a banana it's a banana that transformed into a person you know what this actually isn't that bad. Sure, she's dressed in all yellow. I just wanted to do a quick, who wore it better? Who wore it better? You know what would have been best is if her entire cart was full of bananas or lemons or something yellow. I wish she was buying just yellow food. Oh, here's someone humiliating their boyfriend. Great, he's probably into it though. I don't understand why men and women do this to each other. It's weird. It's so weird. Here's another one. Yeah, at least the last one he was walking upright. This guy's on all fours walking into the store. You're on all fours during COVID times because clearly this is a recent picture taken during COVID times. And you're walking on all fours across that floor? That nasty ass floor? Damn, that is disgusting. This is not right. Keep your weird little kinks for the bedroom okay don't be parading them around in public and your platform shoes are too tall not practical oh this also is impractical wearing a bag on your head why are you wearing a bag on your head and i know this is an older photo so i don't even think this one was taken during the pandemic this person is literally just wearing a bag on their head for no reason. Did you just rob the place? Was it floating through the wind and it landed on your head? Someone help that lady. Here's a man that needed to get some frozen food. He looks like he's about to go to a party. I just wanted to know from this one, did this man ride a bike to the store? Or is this like everyday protective gear? Does he always wear the helmet and knee pads just in case he falls? Or was it because of a bike? I just need to know if it's an everyday helmet or a bike helmet. Here's one that someone uh, put up on Reddit. And apparently someone pissed in one of these water bottles and then put it back on the shelf. You had to go that bad, so you peed in the water bottle. At least buy the water bottle if you're going to pee in it. That's a sold item. If you pee in the water bottle, you got to buy it. Although then you have to embarrass yourself by going up and buying a water bottle full of pee. You know, you know, there was lots of empty ones, but this one 
It was already preloaded with apple juice. I was like, wow, that's a good savings. Or you could go through the self-checkout. My point is don't piss in empty water bottles that you don't own. Uh, here's probably the last person you would expect to be buying a Justin Bieber or a Twilight poster. Wow, he looks a little out of place here. What do you think? Do you think he's buying a Twilight poster or a Justin Bieber poster? I'm gonna pretend it's Justin Bieber because I think that's funnier. Maybe he's buying it for his daughter. Because if I saw this guy, I wouldn't be like, oh, that is a hardcore Justin Bieber fan. But if you told me that that guy has been stalking Justin Bieber, I'd probably believe it. Do you think he dressed in camo because he didn't want people to see him buying these posters? Walmart shopper gargles mouthwash, spits it back into bottle, then puts it back on shelf. You are a sick person. And I'm pretty sure this was before COVID-19 because if you did that nowadays, you'd be going to jail. You'd be doing some serious time. That's fucked up. You don't do that kind of stuff. That's sick. That's why you always have to check to make sure things are sealed. Because of sick people like this. You shouldn't have to worry about that kind of stuff. But then people like this exist. The worst kind of people in the world. I was at Walmart tonight and I saw this man with a cart full of stuffed animals. Oh no. When I asked him why, my heart became full. He told me that every year he dresses up as Santa and walks the halls of the children's ER and delivers one to each child. This man deserves to be recognized. Finally, we're ending one of these videos on a good note. Because honestly... When you said, I asked this man why he has a cart full of stuffed animals, I was like, oh, he's banging those stuffed animals, isn't he? I thought he was getting them from some sort of stuffed animal orgy, but no. He's actually a really good person, and he's giving them to sick children. So let me just reiterate, he's not having a stuffed animal orgy. He's giving back to sick children. He's a good person. A good person in Walmart. Unless he was lying, and he's like, yeah, I'm totally gonna bang these.